Hi, you guys. Okay, I'm so excited. I know it's been a while since I just made a video and did updates and kind of did um, accountability through here, but I decided to just come back and uh, refocus and check in once a week with you guys to um, get myself back on track. But God is so good. I just got um okay, let me let me slow down. Let me back up. Some of you guys know that I have been basically um my other video I was soliciting that plastic surgeons would con um donate surgery surgery to me to remove my excess skin. Um and I had heard from a doctor that someone else had told my story to and I went to go visit him. Uh in February in San Diego. Well, I just heard, and then last week, so the doctor, when I visited him, basically said that he would do my surgery. And I was just like in awe because he was an amazing guy. When I met him, his record of how his success record is like crazy. But the problem is when you get plastic surgery, um, it's not just the cost of the doctor. So the surgeons say he would donate his surgery, but there's still the cost of the medical center, the supplies, the anesthesiology, just all of that, which they had not, you know, uh, agreed to that. The next step was that he said he would talk to his colleagues and try to, you know, um, get my story out there and see if they would help as well. Well, last week I got an email from his office saying that the doctors will be meeting, the uh, medical center will be meeting to discuss my story, and that I should be hearing back soon. Well, this morning I just got an email from the doctor's office, and it says, uh, I'll read it to you guys. It says, Hi, Liana. Looks like things are moving in the right direction. The doctor would like you to make another trip to see him to discuss things in more detail and see how we proceed from here. Um, and then just other details. But... So, I need to call the office because it looks like I'm going to be making a trip down to San Diego for another consultation because it looks like I'm going to be getting my surgery. Um, I'm stoked. But the crazy thing is, right when I, um, before I got that, I said that I would start back doing these videos and just kind of do some accountability because I was kind of falling off track and I had gained some weight and blah, 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 blah. And these videos really helped me with accountability. So, the last time I weighed myself before Easter, I had weighed 170 five pounds. And um, when I weighed myself on Friday, I was 177. And so my goal by the end of this week, by the time I'm going to try to schedule my appointment to see the doctor on Monday, but my goal is to be back to 174 um, by the time I go to my doctor's appointment. So I'm about to call and make the appointment to take a trip down to San Diego to see the plastic surgeon. I'm really excited. But yeah, I'm going to keep doing check-ins with you guys because this really helps me with my accountability. But just pray that everything goes smoothly and um, check in on me during the week. Ask me how I'm doing. Check me out because, you know, this thing is tough. Um, I'm just stoked. I love you guys. You're the best support team ever. All right. Uh, remember, Monday never comes. Remember that. Remember to uh, break that mentality of, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it off for another day. I'll do it here. I'll do it then. Um, take control of your life now. Do it now. Stop putting it off for another time. Because if you put it off, if I put it off, I wouldn't be in this situation. I wouldn't have lost 180 pounds. I wouldn't have a doctor saying that he would do my surgery. I wouldn't have even the opportunity to ask for the surgery because I would still be 356 pounds if I kept with the mentality of I'll do it Monday. I'll do it another day. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start over on my diet. Stop starting over and start maintaining a lifestyle. I am excited and I just want to thank you guys for following me on this journey. Peace out.